their strong characteristics are. And I think that's important when you get any dog, including a German Shepherd, is really understand what the common traits are. Uh, Val is a little bit, I think he's exceptional, maybe because he's my granddaughter. <laughs> But we've discussed, will we get a German Shepherd or will we get a Swiss Shepherd? And it's really very much a dilemma. You know, we love the traits of the Swiss. Seeing the grandchildren react to Valentine the way they did, the way Danielle and Rachel did when they were young. And that makes me quite happy. He does everything that that breed has always meant to me. And I think that's one thing that the girls learned as they were growing up in a household with German Shepherds is that if this dog, if Nikki or one of the other German Shepherds that we had reacted adversely to a situation that they should probably pay attention, that this dog wasn't being aggressive or tense for absolutely no reason at all. I think that's probably the common misconception is, is that there's some sort of hidden psychology, although you can never really tell what an animal is thinking, but that there's something that there's a mystery. No, there's a reason, it, I think. Just set, listen, or watch, and it'll probably become evident.